I feel like I need to do something that challenges me today. <laughs> That's like the last thing I wanna do. Why do I do this to myself? shoes on and then we can go. Good morning! It's currently, I think it's like 6 something in the morning. 6.22. I woke up around 6. I tend to get up at 6-ish every morning. I go through phases. This doesn't make any sense, but normally between the months of September to like the middle of January, I wake up at 7.30, 8-ish every morning. And then the moment spring starts rolling around, which it was last week. It's really cold this morning, but last week was really feeling like spring. The moment spring starts rolling around, I really like enjoy waking up early. I've been getting up at 6, 6.15ish recently and just getting my day started, even though I don't have to necessarily get up that early. I don't know, it just kind of works for me. I'm gonna go ahead and take Phineas for a walk this morning. I walk her every single day and I have the energy. I don't always have the energy in the morning, but I prefer to go ahead and get it over with. Thought I would do a little day in the life for you guys today. So let's get going. pictures to hang on my fridge and I don't know where any of them went like I packed them all up I don't know where they are so right now oh do you want water too okay I'll just give you mine but now it's just bills on my fridge and it's not cute frankly it's ugly and I need to do something about that I coffee ice cubes last night I don't know why I was it was like 9 30 and I was like you know what sounds like a good idea coffee ice cubes. I need to go do a little bit of grocery shopping this morning, but I'm gonna read for like an hour before I do. I'm currently reading The Fake Mate and I wanna get a little bit further, well, not a little bit further into it. I think I might be able to finish it this morning. I should only have like 100 pages left. This book doesn't necessarily compare to Bride by Allie Hazelwood, but it does give the same vibes as Bride by Allie Hazelwood. Bride was a five-star read for me. I was recommended to pick this book up to get kind of the same feeling, the same vibe. This is technically Omegaverse, whereas Bride was just a paranormal romance. So this has a lot more details because it's Omegaverse, like a lot more interesting details that not everybody likes, that's not everybody's cup of tea, and they're also shifters. So the two main characters are each other's fake mate in this book because Mackenzie needs someone to pretend to be her boyfriend so her grandmother can get off her back, and Noah needs a fake mate for reasons that you're gonna have to read the book and find out he needs a fake mate so they're fake dating throughout the entirety of this book and i was kind of surprised with how quickly they started fake dating there wasn't much i guess like backstory or a lot of just unnecessary details that just jumped straight into it but i enjoyed that noah is perfect he's a grump very much grumpy i wouldn't say mckenzie's a sunshine but she's She's just adorable, and I really like her character. They both work at a hospital, hence the cover of them in Scrubs. And again, while this doesn't compare to Bride, I think this is a good book to pick up after Bride if you're still in that shifter, wolfy romance, or if you're wanting to give Omegaverse a chance, this is a good intro because it's very vanilla in the sense of Omegaverse, which can get a little wild. It is way more spicy than Bride, and I don't necessarily dislike that, but I'm just letting you know so you know what you're getting yourself into. I think the spice level in Bride was absolutely perfect. It wasn't too much. And for me nowadays, like if the spice is too much, I don't I, I don't want to read it. I really love tension more than I like spice. <gasps> oh, that was really cute. That was really cute. Oh my god. And Noah just said, I'm finding there isn't much I don't like. What the f that was not computing in my head, but it computed when I read it. Noah said, I'm finding there isn't much I don't like where you're involved. Oh, he's kind of perfect. to go 
go run some errands before the roads get busy. I can't do the traffic in this town that I live in anymore. It's getting insane. I have about four chapters left of The Fake Mate. I think I might just listen to the rest of the audiobook on Spotify. That'd be about an hour. I'm gonna do that, might as well, because I'm almost done with that book and I've, I don't have any other audiobook to listen to right now. I'm gonna do that and then I'll probably listen to Crime Junkie. I need to go to the grocery store. I need just a few more groceries, like coffee, eggs. I need to make a few returns. I do wanna run into World Market or TJ Maxx because I want to look for, I don't know, just see if they have any picture frames or a little bit more wall decor for in here and then maybe some hooks for the bathroom. The bathroom is just too white for me at the moment and I just wanna, I wanna do something about that. So while I'm out, I might as well keep a lookout for something that can like spruce that up. Maybe I should just get a new shower curtain. I need to go to the library to see if they have my book club's book for the month there because I don't want to buy it. It's by Abby Jimenez. They always have a ton of Abby Jimenez books, so I feel like they do have it maybe. Oh, I also need to check my mail. I think I have packages in my P.O. box, book related packages. If there is none in there, I'm going to be really disappointed because in my brain I have three in there right now. So if there's, if there's not at least one, I'm really going to be sad. They had Girl Scout cookies and Joanne fabrics. I didn't record the table, I did take a picture. I'm not gonna record a child. I'm not crazy. I got the Samoas. I haven't had Girl Scout cookies in like 10 years, but the little girl was so cute. And I was like, sure, you take card? I'll get a pack of Samoas. I hope they're as good as I remember. At the library, they didn't have Yours Truly. They had like every other book of Abby Jimenez, but Yours Truly. So I'm gonna run over to Half Price Books over here and see if they have it. And if they don't, then I'm gonna have to stop at the bookstore or Target and get it because it is nearing the end of the month and that is my book club's pick for the month. And I, I need to read it. It's also not available on Libby. While I was at the library though, I did get Vicious. I've heard so much about Vicious over the years and just V.E. Schwab. V.E. Schwab was very popular for a reason. Taylor just read the Secret Life of Addie LaRue and Vicious and has been trying to get me to read it. Because I didn't have yours truly, I saw this on my way out and I was like, I'm just gonna get Vicious and hopefully I'll be able to get to it before I have to return it on the 11th because I only have it for two weeks. Man, that's good. I feel like this will look good right here or in here. Hold on. It's not big enough for in there. I really need to stop thinking that returning stuff is a form of making money. Like, so I'm going to put it there. We're going to test it out. I am going to hang it with a thumbtack. I hope that's enough. I forgot it was President's Day today. So I was out driving and I was like, Jesus Christ, why is there so many people out on the road so early? Shouldn't you all be at work? It's President's Day. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's my mom. Hold on, back up. Hey, hey. What do we think? I don't know how I feel. I feel like it needs to be higher. No, that actually doesn't look bad. I need to put a little shelf above here as well. Maybe like the same gold trim and then I think that would look good. Mom, I need you to come look at this because I actually think it looks good. Okay. Yeah, it looks okay. Oh my God. I want people to see it. Oh my God. You should have put it right here. No, because I'm going to get something to go there that's okay. taller. Actually, the colors go great with your, uh... do you have anything right here? Oh, see, would have been good there. Where, Mom? I like it there. Yeah. Give me your thoughts, please and thank you. Um, yeah, let's go to unboxing haul with my mother. I ordered some prints on Etsy, so I'm gonna put one of them in here. It was like $10. I did get another, this is my book. 
And it was my book club's pick of the month. I tried to get it to the library, went to the library this morning. And I was like, why is the library so busy? Because oh, it's President's yeah. Day. Yeah. They didn't have it at the library, so I got there. Yeah, but if that's eat. close by, I'm going to sell it. And some veggies. I got two different packages in the mail when I went to go to my P.O. box earlier. I didn't expect my mom to stop by today, but because it's President's Day, she didn't have anything to do. And she's like, I'm in your area, let me stop by. And I was like, okay, come hang out. So we went for a walk together, which was nice because the weather finally warmed up a bit. It's like 65 degrees. Wait, this is cute. I know what this is. It's a Beau Durand candle. Velvet Ice Shop. Whoa. Wait, that actually smells so good. Oh my god, I cannot, I'm not even kidding you guys, this smells incredible. Cinnamon cedar and soft musk. Go to Rand, he's from out on a limb. Velvet Eye Shop reached out to me and they were like, can we send you a candle? And I was like, hell yeah, you can send me a candle. I'm gonna light it right now. I also have another box. I think I know who this is from. Oh, actually, now I might be wrong. Oopsies. This is not what I thought it was gonna be. Wait, that's okay, that's weird because... So I'm a full-time book creator and one of the things that I do to make money to pay my bills is I work with authors occasionally, primarily on TikTok. Sometimes people get mad when they find out or see you like run an ad on TikTok or even when I run ads on here. I need to afford insurance. So girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do to pay the bills. So on occasion I run ads and work with authors that I like. One of the authors that I'm working with end of this month is Kat Singleton. I'm working to promote her newest release that's coming out February 22nd. I believe that's when it comes out. Pretty Rings and Broken Things. Normally when I do a video for an author, most of the time it's a new release that's coming out that they want me to promote their new release so that it can get traction from the beginning. So they'll send me the book as well as send me an art copy that I can read like way before. I have the art copy of Pretty Rings Broken Things in Kindle form. They were gonna send me the book. I got this postcard in the mail today and I was assuming this, which I'll show you what this is in a second. I was assuming that was the book for Pretty Rings Broken Things, but it's not. This is another billionaire romance. This is a part of the Black Tie Billionaires series. Black Ties and White Lies was the first book. It's just, they're just fun, smutty reads. So if you're in the vibe for like no brain cells, just vibes and smut, that's what these books are. For this one, it does say the tropes on here. Arranged marriage, age gap, my wife. <laughs> Obsessed MMC billionaire in forced proximity. You're cordially, oh, this is the marriage invite for them. That's cool, I'm liking that. So I thought I was getting the book. That's not what I got. I ended up getting a PR box from Romance Con, which I don't know much about this, so. I might speak some things that are wrong. Romance Con, they're doing a, well, a romance book convention in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, September 6th through the 7th. They asked if they could send me a little box. What's B&B &B Publishing? I don't actually know what this, pub Balser and Bray, an imprint of Harper Collins Publishing. Why do all of these, th this is a, a little qualm. Is that the right word to use here that I have? Why do all these publishing companies have so many different spinoffs? Like I get it, but at the same time, sometimes I'm like, can we just, can it just come from HarperCollins? Do we need a, a 50th spinoff of this one publishing company? I, I don't know enough details to actually have a valid opinion on that. That's just my thoughts right now. Cause I was like, what is B and B? Anyways, this book is called Imogen, obviously. I read the back. I think this is a sapphic romance. Oh yeah, it's a sapphic romance, but I didn't know that going into it. The back says, I think I miss period. Being straight, period. That's like the first thing I read and I was like, huh? Okay, cool, wait, this is cute. Oh my God, look at the cutie little, I'm assuming this is the love interest right there and she's so pretty. I'm not on a lot of PR lists because I personally, like I don't like getting a ton of stuff that I'm not gonna use or a ton of books that I know I'm not gonna get to. So I don't really sign up for PR list. Um, publishing company wise, I do get books from authors on occasion or occasionally I'll say yes to something like this. Most of the time I say no because I don't need it. I'm still expecting two more PR packages later this week. Where's Molly by H.D. Carlton. I got picked to get a little PR box for that, which 
I don't think I'm gonna read Where's Molly this month. I'll probably read Where's Molly next month. And then I'm still waiting on the Pretty Rings and Broken Things book. I'm gonna put that on my shelf next to the Black Ties White Lies book. I did finish The Fake Mate while I was at Target today. Final thoughts on it. I think this is a good book to pick up after reading Bride and if you really enjoyed Bride, but don't go into it thinking it's going to be Bride or be like Bride, you know? This was fun and lighthearted and giggly in the sense that Bride was, but like Bride is here in my opinion and The Fake Mate is like right here. I'm gonna give it 3.75 four-ish stars. Very fun read. I do think, and I think I said this this morning, I do wish there was like less spice in it. That's just this, the phase I'm in. I don't need like an abundance of spice. I need spice and then I need storyline. I felt like there was like three scenes too many of spice in my opinion. But other than that, I really liked it. I liked the fake dating aspect of it. Noah is perfect. I'm also reading Lola and the Millionaires right now, which is a reverse harem Omegaverse book. I'm liking it so far. I'm 31% into it. I'm gonna try and read for the next few hours. It's almost three o'clock. Mm. I think I'm gonna read till five. I'm liking it so far though. It's been my like nighttime read, the book that I like get in bed and kind of wind down a bit. It's very fun and there's a little bit of a suspense aspect to it. Like I think there's about to be a little bit of cat and mouse happening and someone potentially coming after Lola, which is so intriguing to me. I love when there's like a little mystery, a little cat and mouse happening in a book. I'm gonna read for a little bit before I have to do Pilates. Ugh. Can you tell she's raised with cats? Literally cat in question. I need to do Pilates. I'm exactly 50% through Lola and the Millionaires. I'm liking the book. I like the direction it's going in. And like I said, it's Omegaverse. So there's like a pack, like a wolf pack. Oh my God. Uh, what is this phase that I'm going through? Anyways, because it's reverse harem. There's a, there's a harem. There's like six of them plus Lola. You mean I gotta remember seven people's names? It's like Caleb, Cyrus, Wes, Rake, Leo, Matt. I think Matt's his name, Lola. Every chapter, I'm like, I have to say all their names out loud so I don't forget anybody. What, was it necessary for, for there to be that many characters? Like, it's fun and I'm liking the book. I'm not disliking it. It's just like, why did we need seven people? Matt, Caleb, Cyrus, Rake, Leo, some, Wes, Lola. Do we wanna do move with Nicole or this one girl named Lydia who like kind of makes a lazy girl Pilates workout? I feel like I need to do something that challenges me today. <laughs> That's like the last thing I want to do. Why do I do this to myself? 40 minute Pilates. No. At 30 minute at home, no equipment. Subway. That's what we're doing. Why is it not pink anymore? Oh my God, was I supposed to put it in afterwards? I should have just cooked the rose petals. Oh, wait. I don't, um. <laughs> wait around four to six hours for soap to set before taking four out Four to the six mold. hours? <laughs> for it to set before taking out of the mold. Okay, well I could definitely bring this to you tomorrow then. 